hello guys good day and welcome back to my channel loliti stitches it's so good to have you here so for today's tutorial here are the measurements needed the shoulder measurements the nipple to nipple measurements shoulder to nipple which is the bust point the waist length or half cut the waist circumference hip circumference and full length of the dress so i've already placed the front on the back pattern and now i'm just ruling out a straight line which is which will serve as my guide so right now let's get right now that into I've the video my front, uh, the front pattern on the back pattern what we have to do now is first to insert the shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement of my client is 13 inches that is 6 divided by 2 right um, that is 13 divided by 2 which is 6.5 6.5 inches can you see that we're going to mark that out here remember i've placed the front on the back with a um, one inch allowance for the zip okay this is zip allowance for the back so now we are going to impute our neck measurement it's going to be a v-neck so three inches by seven inches okay so we're going to roll that out like this can you see this is how to achieve a v-neck then right here i will impute my shoulder slope come down by half an inch and connect it okay Okay, we'll not be making use of arm over here. So I'm just going to rule down this my shoulder line. Remember it's a pinafore. I'm going to rule down this half of my shoulder. I'm going to rule it straight down here. We are still going to make some alterations. Just to watch out. Okay. So from my shoulder, I'm going to place my um, bust point shoulder to nipple that is in this case it is 9.5 so i'm going to mark that okay i'm going to rule that out 9.5 so on this 9.5 mark now i'm going to insert my measurement from shoulder to shoulder and uh, from nipple to nipple sorry nipple to nipple here yeah, i'm working with seven inches that is 3.5 7 inches on fold is 3.5 3.5 plus 1 inch so that's going to give me 4.5 i'll be working with 4.5 okay 4.5 here i'll mark it here then on the waistline I'm going to subtract one from anything we have here. Are you getting it? I'm going to subtract one from anything we have here. Here we have 4.5 altogether. Can you see? So when I subtract one here, I'll be left with 3.5. And I'll mark that, okay? So 3.5 here, 4.5, 6.5. I'm going to connect everything together. just like this okay it's as simple as this and i'm just going to add let's say like half an inch for my joining you know i'm going to turn it with the lining i'm going to turn it with lining so let, let this half an inch just be the joining allowance so it's as simple as that we're almost done with the pinner for okay i'll come down here for the back neckline one inch is enough for the back neckline so i'll just curve it out just like this now slit this into two and that is it for our pinafore so let's go ahead and cut it the first thing is to trim out this this uh, borderline to get rid of the rough edges Okay, now that we have done that, we trim out the back neckline first, okay?
put him on the back neckline first then we go we can now go ahead and trim so you separate it just like i'm doing now just to get the front and trim the front neckline i'm going to follow the markings okay so this is the real thing we're going to be working with for the pinafore okay but there is a little um adjustment i would like to make on the back so we're going to set this aside let me just show you the front you see this is what we are going to have for our front part can you see that this is for the front this is what we have for the front and we're going to attach band and all that it's going to come out really beautiful but i'll set this aside and show you the little adjustment we're going to make on the back remember there is no bust at the back so that point that bit of slant that we gave to the to the front we're going to remove it from the back and just make this straight okay we're following this straight line up to like somewhere here then i'm just going to gently connect it bend it to the shoulder okay can you see so we slant it to the shoulder so that it will not give us this funny funny look at the back it is necessary for us to trim this out okay so i'll just go ahead and do that now okay so that is it for the pinafore okay guys so this is the sketch part of the pinafore remember when taking the measurement for pinafore it's just like taking the measurement for a gown so this is the sketch part we have cut the pinafore part the upper part now the upper part ended at the waist region which is 16 inches but i know you'll be wondering we cut 15 for the pinafore it is so because we will still be adding band of 2 inches. So we made the pin for 14 inches. The band is going to take 2 inches and 16 all together. Then the remaining ones will now be for the skirt. Now the full length of this pin for from shoulder to the nail is 40.5 inches. 40.5 minus 16. Okay. Can you see the way I'm placing my tape? Minus 16. We have 24.5. Can you see that? 24.5. But we are going to add allowances. Of course, we are going to add allowances. So instead of 40.5, now I added 1.5 inches in allowance. So that we can have enough to turn in and for joining it to the upper part. So everything I'm making use of here is... Right now, now, I'm making use of 26 inches for this sketch part. Do you understand me? It's as simple as that. So now, let's start inserting our measurements. This is going to serve as our waistline, this part. Remember, I've already placed the front on the back. This is the front. This is the back. So I'm going to place our tape here and not here. Okay, this is an allowance. So we'll place our tape here. And measure the waist circumference. We are working with a waist circumference of 26 inches. That's 6.5. Okay. So we are going to be adding 2 inches to that. Why? Because of our um, that allowance. So 6.5 plus 2.5 plus 2. That's going to give us 8.5. Right. One inch will go, to, go for the that allowance. The other one inch for the same allowance. You mark your 8.5 here. Just like this. Then from... From the waist, you mark 8 inches. 8 inches for the hip line, okay? Your hip line is 8 inches. For some very tall people, it is 9 inches. But in this case, we are making use of 8 inches. Then from there to the length of your skirt. Okay, so now we have inserted the waist measurement. We, have, we move to the hip line and insert our hip measurements. The hip measurement we are working with is 36 inches. 36 divided by 4 gives us 9 inches, okay? So plus 1, we are not going to measure that exact 9. We had our same allowance, making 10, 
inches okay so i'm going to use my arm oak cuff thank you i'm going to use my arm oak cuff okay to just curve this hang into the hip can you see that if you don't have arm oak cuff nothing spoil just use your hand okay free they call it free hand sketching Can you see? I ended up using my hand. So I'm going to connect it just like this. Then whatever we have here, remember we have 10. Whatever we have here will come down to the helm of the of the skirt and insert it here, okay? Whatever we have here, we have 10 here. We'll place 9 inches here. That is that 10 minus 1 because we want it to be a little bit tapered. So that it will bring out your figure, you understand what I'm saying? You can go in as much as 1.52 inches, but I don't want it too tight. I still want to be able to walk. So let's make use of 9 inches. What I'm going to do now is to place my ruler and just connect from here. Okay? So can you see that that is it for our that is it for the skirt part this is the same method applicable to cutting a straight skirt it's just as simple as this so what we have to do now is to insert the dart at the waist part and um, we are making use of our nipple to nipple measurement plus half inch that's four inches okay four inches then you go in by half an inch on the on the two sides, half an inch, half an inch, okay? We'll be working with that length of four inches. Four inches for the front, five inches for the back. Okay, the that length of the of the back is longer than of the front. I hope you understand me. just like this so we are just going to notch it okay we are just going to notch it so that it will it will replicate on the back so that it will be easier for us to know this is the notched center and now let's go ahead and trim it okay guys can you see this is what we are going to have at the end of the day. Can you see? Can you even see that already the shape of our skirt is showing? So you just open it. Can you see? It's looking so so beautiful already. So that is it on how to cut a pinafore. The only thing left now is the band, and I'm just going to cut that and show you. We, are, we want to cut out the band now. We'll be needing two inches for the band, and in this case, I'm making use of three because of the joining allowance so three inches okay now that we have our three inches then we we'll work with the waist circumference the waist circumference the round waist now because it's a pinafore we are not going to be joining the bands at the side it's a pinafore so the round waist measurement all through is 26 inches so now i'm making use of can you see 28 inches for the length and three inches for the width so we'll cut this out let's say this is our band okay we're going to divide this let's say this is our band so this is what we're expecting at the end of the day i'm going to join it i'll couple everything up and i'll show you so we're going to be attaching pockets we're going to be attaching pockets to to this to the front okay so i can make use of this as my pocket i just divide it into two it's an attached pocket okay let's say this is one pocket i'll attach one pocket to this side and another of these to this side and we are good to go thank you thank you so much guys for watching